Good afternoon and welcome back to Gated with Truth. Thank you so much for joining us yet again for another session of Gated with Truth. We are continuing the series by faith and today in particular we're talking about restoration. You know we have been praying to God for so many things, asking him to accomplish these promises. Well now the promise has landed on our doorstep do we have what it takes to believe to have faith in the promise that god would have given to us the promise is here the time is here rather for the promise to be fulfilled and what is required in this moment is an extra boost of faith but it's not just faith for new things, but it's faith for God to restore us, to restore the things that we have lost, to restore who we are in Him. You know, when Adam and Eve would have sinned, a lot was taken away from us. But here, God is saying He is ready to restore us. He is ready to bring us to the place where we are new again where we are restored in him and how does that happen by faith mark chapter 5 verses 25 to 31 says and a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years and had suffered many things of many physicians and had spent all that she had and was nothing bettered but rather grew worse when she had heard of Jesus, came in the press behind and touched his garment. For she said, If I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. And straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. And Jesus immediately knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him, turned him about in the press and said who touched my clothes and his disciples said unto him thou seest the multitude thronging thee and sayest thou who touched me so here this is the account of the woman with the issue of blood and a lot of times we focus on the fact that her faith made her whole and we skip through the process of how she got today now this woman was sick she was plagued with this issue of blood and all she did was heard that Jesus was passing now she had been to many physicians doctor after doctor she had gone through lengths and breadth to be able to be healed of this disease but the reality was no physical man could help her and word spread very quickly about Jesus and she heard about Jesus and she said within herself if only I could touch the hem of his garment and this whole account when she said she wants to touch the hem of his garment it doesn't mean that she touched the seam or the bottom of his clothes in that way you know it meant that she touched the hem of what he was wearing which in jewish culture they have like this jewish clothing and to the bottom of it there's this dangling adornment so it's not even attached to the clothes in the way of part of the clothes being made with the same cloth it's just like an attachment or an adornment that these jewish clothing has so here's this woman with the issue of blood coming in connection with jesus and not just jesus nor even the top he was wearing but the part of his clothes that was dangling so she was touching the hem of Jesus's garment in the way of an adornment and here in this moment she reached out to Jesus and touched that part of him 
and she was made whole. But we know the story of how she would have responded to Jesus when he asked to touch me. Now, in this account, was it the fact that she just touched the hem of Jesus' garment? Because many people were touching him. So it wasn't the fact of her just touching him. And a lot of times we focus on that aspect of the fact that she just touched Jesus. But it wasn't, wasn't any touch, but it was any faith. Jesus responded to her in verse 34. And he said unto her, Daughter, thy faith had made thee whole. Go in peace and be whole of thy plague. So Jesus wasn't so concerned about the physical touch, but he was concerned about the spiritual touch. He was concerned about the demand she placed on him because of her faith. Jesus did not mind virtue going out of him, but he recognized in that moment that there was a divine demand because of the faith that she carried. Jesus wants to restore us today. He wants to restore you. He wants those dreams, those aspirations, those goals, that vision to come to pass. So even the things that you gave up on, he's ready to bring it to pass. And how are you going to access this restoration that he has for you? I am telling you today, it is by faith. Hebrews 11 6 says without faith it is impossible to please God so all the promises we have been talking about everything we have been talking about all the blessings that you shout and you sing and you dance over the only way to access it is by faith and here God is saying he's not just ready to do new things for you but he's ready to restore everything that you would have believed in that did not come to pass. He is ready to restore you to the place that he originally intended for you to operate in. The way he intended for you to operate in. The person he intended for you to become. He is ready to restore from the smallest to the largest thing connected to you and connected to your name. But the only way you can access this is by faith. Thank you so much for listening. Have a wonderful afternoon. Bye.